Hello everybody, this is Louis from Luke Prop and welcome to another episode of Real Talk with Luke Prop. Now for today's topic, we will be going through this topic. Does being near an MRT always translate into better capital gains? Right, so we will be actually analysing this uh, based on a few areas and we'll be comparing projects that are near MRT and projects that are further away from MRT and see how they fare against each other. So without further ado, let's go. So before I get into the data, we'll be introducing a few controls in the selection of data so that we make it a fair comparison. Right, number one, we'll be only using completed properties that have been completed for at least a year so that we have resale transactions as a reference. Number two, we are choosing projects that have similar completion years within one to three years of each other so that you know, we, we, because there's no point in comparing too old of a property with too young of a property. Now number three, we have excluded areas whereby there may be new MRTs coming up soon uh, to rule out the possibility that projects that were initially far from MRT will be getting another boost in price because there's a new MRT being built nearby. And lastly, we are using sale transactions for the past five years. Right, so let's get to it. If you remember the last time when we did a real review on Passeris 8, we actually reviewed it alongside this other integrated development called North Park Residences at Yishun. So let's take a look at that project. Now this North Park Residences is right next to Yishun MRT. It's an integrated development with a mall, bus interchange, right? So it is TOP in 2018. Right, completed in 2018, right next to the MRT. We'll be comparing it with another project called the Wisteria, which also completed in 2018, and it's actually 1.4 kilometers away from Yishun MRT. It's also quite far from, from Khatib MRT as well, but Khatib is also within the Yishun planning area. Right, so if we were to take a look at these two prices, let's start with North Park residences. Uh, five years ago, it was transacting at an average of 1,271 per square foot. Right? right now, it's at 1,561 per square foot, which translates into a 23% increase in price. What about Wisteria? Wisteria five years ago was transacting at 995 per square foot, and now it is at 1,262 per square foot, which translates into a 27% increase in price. So anyone that has taken a look at these two properties would naturally think that North Park Residences is the better property because it's so close to Yishun, it's an integrated development. But over the last five years, Wisteria has actually made more money for its uh, owners uh, and at a lower quantum entry price. So next we'll be looking at Passeris MRT. Now one of the projects that are closest to Passeris MRT is actually called The Nest which was TOP in 2017, it's actually about 580 meters away from the MRT station. And we'll be comparing it versus this property called View 8, which is 1.3 kilometers away from Pasiris MRT, and also TOP in 2017. Now, the nest uh, was transacted at an average of 972 per square feet five years ago. Right now, it's transacting at 1,067 per square feet, which translates into a 10% increase in price. Whereas for View 8, it was transacting at 937 per square feet five years ago and right now it's at 1,070 per square foot which translates into a 14% increase in price and again, we are seeing a property that's very far away from MRT having a bigger increase in capital gains over the last five years in Passeris, this is the outside central region area so we're talking about more outside central region projects so we'll bring it a little bit more central we'll be talking about Clementi MRT next so Clementi MRT, one of the closest projects to it, is called the Trilink, which was TOP in 2017. Now Trilink is about 548 meters away from Clementi MRT, and we'll be comparing it to this project called Park Rivera, which was TOP in 2019. Right, this project is 1.45 kilometers away from Clementi MRT, and basically has not much amenities around it as well. So let's take a look at the prices. Uh, for these two projects. Now the Trilink was averaging about 1,352 per square feet five years ago, all right? And right now it's at 1,553 per square feet, which translates to a 15% increase in price. For Park Rivera, uh, 1,200 per square feet, and right now it's at 1,393 per square feet, translating to about a 16% increase in price. So if you were to compare these two projects, it is very similar in their price increase, but one project is very, very far away from the MRT. The last one we'll be talking about is Red Hill MRT. There are a lot of projects around Red Hill MRT, so we've actually taken three projects to compare instead of two. Uh, 
uh, namely Echelon, which TOP in 2016 is about 166 meters away from Red Hill MRT, and also Alex Residences, TOP back in 2017, all right, and also 272 meters away from Red Hill MRT. We will be comparing it with a project called Principal Garden, which is about 638 meters away from Red Hill MRT and was TOP back in 2018. Now 638 meters may not sound like a very long distance away, but if you look at Google Maps, it's actually a 15 minutes walk from Principal Garden all the way down to Red Hill MRT. So we will be considering it as a, a further distance away from MRT as well. So let's take a look at the numbers. Echelon was transacting at 1711 per square feet five years ago and right now it's at 1762 per square feet which translates to a 3% increase in price. Alex Residences on the other hand transacted at 1989 per square feet five years ago and right now it's actually at 1867 per square feet. This is a 6% decrease in price. What about Principal Garden? Five years ago, it was at 1588 per square feet and right now it is at 1931 per square feet which is a 21% increase in price over the last five years. Basically, this increase in price and capital gains blew the competition out of the park. Right? So in, in terms of radio MRT, you can see that being further away from MRT is actually bringing owners a lot more capital gains than being really close. Now after looking at all these examples, some people might be wondering some projects that are really near MRT really did make a lot more money than some of the properties that are further away from MRT. Now this may be true and we are not disputing that. In fact, some of these people may be also wondering the examples that I just gave just now, you know, you can't compare like this, the areas are different, the characteristics are different, so on and so forth. But that's exactly what we are saying. Being near an MRT is not always a clear cut determining factor on whether a project has a very clear capital gain advantage over other projects. All right? We have to consider the factors surrounding uh, property purchase, more factors in fact. Uh, for example, uh, number one is being near an MRT always has a premium tag to the project, right? you're paying higher than the surrounding projects. Is this worth the premium? That's the question you have to answer. Is your entry price even correct in the first place as compared to your competitors surrounding the area? Right? Number two, instead of just looking at MRT or schools or amenities nearby a project when we're looking at location you have to also consider your exit strategy right um, is there an area transformation in the in, in the immediate region uh, are there immediate developments in the, in the project or in the area that is worth considering as well uh, who are your who are your buyers in the future who are your buyer pools what are their profiles like so on and so forth when are you going to sell how much you're going to sell right uh, and another factor is rental right if you're buying for investment are there a lot of rental transactions in the area what is the rental yield like so on and so forth so as you can see we're not saying that being an mrt is not a very big factor in fact it may actually be or it may be the determining factor when you're making a decision between two projects uh, that have similar characteristics so being an mrt will always win out Right. We are saying that being near an MRT is not the only factor to consider others as well. Uh, in fact, would you guys like me to do a live YouTube session whereby I go through projects which you guys are asking through the live chat? Right. If you would like me to do something like this, leave it down in the comment section below and if there's enough interest for it, we will definitely do it. So that's it for today's video and if you like what you saw today, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, as of this recording, we already passed 1,000 subscribers and our next goal is 10,000 subscribers. So we would really appreciate your support for this channel. And as always, this is Louis from Look Prop signing off. <coughs> My Marty is here. Doors are closing.